we can find Revit's drawing and modeling commands on the ribbon. The ribbon goes across the top of the Revit user interface. The ribbon itself is broken up into a series of tabs. Each one of these tabs contains the commands associated with the word that's on the ribbon. An example would be the architecture tab, where we have our walls, doors, and windows. On the structure tab, we would have our beams, columns, and footings. Underneath annotate, which is text, we would have our dimensions, line work, as well as our text. Each one of these tabs has commands associated with the word on that tab. Notice that the architecture tab is completely grayed out, except for a couple little areas, such as area and model group. What this means is that everything that's grayed out currently cannot be drawn inside of this type of view. And right now, I'm on sheet view. And a sheet view is a two-dimensional view because most of the items in the architecture tab on the ribbon are three-dimensional. This means that I can't draw them inside of this view. So to activate these commands, I need to come underneath the project browser. You may need to expand out views by clicking on the little plus sign go to floor plans, and then double click on level one to open up level one floor plan view. When you do, you'll be inside of a floor plan view, which is one of the spots where you can draw three-dimensional things. Once we've done that, underneath the architecture tab, we can now see that we can activate any of the commands that are available to us on the ribbon. Also, if we would go to the structure tab or any of the other tabs, we'll now be able to find that those commands are now active for us. To actually activate one of the commands, you just need to select on the appropriate tab, go to the command, and in this case, I'm going to select on the picture of the wall. Then you'll get a new selection of tools that are associated specifically with that command that you just selected. In this case, I had picked on wall, so I get all the properties as well as the tools that I can use to draw a wall. To get out of a command, I can just hit the escape key on the keyboard. Sometimes you need to hit it once, Sometimes you need to hit it twice. You'll back out of that command, and then you'll have all your other commands now available going across the top of your screen. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials. And be sure to like us on Facebook.